right, guys. I feel like I should be doing this more often, but here is my lunch for work. I have uh, it's from a local place called uh, it's from a local place called Lopez. <clears throat> so I got the chicken fajitas with no beans or anything like that. So just pretty clean. So I have uh, <clears throat> chicken fajitas here, some Spanish rice, pico, guacamole, salsa in there, and some tortillas. And I have my scale here that I'm going to weigh out everything. So uh, yeah, that's my lunch. It is about 12.45 to 1 o'clock. And I'm uh, going to destroy this. <sighs> my pre-workout meal before I go to the gym. So I'm going to eat this right up. And see you at the gym. Alright guys, so just got to the gym. Got my pre-workout in here. And evidently there is something going on. So apparently there's like the Pardamas meetup with the... But I'm as girls here, so it's uh this, this this guy right here. I don't even know who the hell that is. But anyways, um yeah, so there's an event going on right now and I'm trying to get my workout in. But it's like, I don't know, it's kinda crazy. There's a lot going on right now, it's like cameras everywhere, so about to hit a chest workout right now. Uh I think I'm gonna start with flat demo bench first. And then, uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, guys, let's talk a little bit about my weight. So right now, I am currently, you know, 148 to 149, depending on a day. As you see here, my shoulders are getting super lean, guys. Um, so essentially, I told you guys that I wanted to be, uh, be about 142. Um, the cutoff weight pretty much for my division would be 143, which is bantam weight. And I feel like I'm getting very lean, guys, but I'm not shredded yet. Uh, a lot of people are starting to say, oh, you're so shredded right now. You have a lot of striations. And they're right. I, am, I do have a lot of striations right now. But, guys, this is nothing. So the easy part has essentially been done. Um, I've lost, let's see, so I'm 148 right now, 149. So I've lost 24 to 25 pounds thus far since the beginning uh, in January and <clears throat> uh, you know let's say about 10 10 pounds of that was water weight and the other 15 was you know fat and maybe some muscle but very minimal because um, I feel like I've relatively maintained most of it but um, yeah the easy parts done you know the 24 to 25 now this guys these last nine, 10 weeks with the six pounds is going to be the absolute hardest, guys. This is what uh, I compare it to the last couple reps on the hardest sets. So this is what makes the champions, guys. This is what separates the shredded from the lean. So pretty much essentially first, first and second place from third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and beyond and beyond. So, um, this is the next level that I need to get to with the striated glutes and everything if I want to claim first place. So um, I have gotten second place four times in the past and it is, it's uh, it's not as, not as glorious as it sounds, guys. It sucks. It's kind of like, you know, you go all that way and, you know, you and that second person javon here check that out. oh my gosh guys this was so hilarious i was rolling uh, anyways back to the topic and um it's uh it sucks you know to get second place as opposed to you're so close to first and you don't get it so this year guys this is the year mark my words first place is coming sorry guys so i just got home and i uh, made a milkshake already drank half of it but uh, today's milkshake is a bit different um, I got some frozen strawberries here and my brother went to our local grocery store HEB and we bought this vanilla milk which is 10 times better than almond milk but strictly because the calories are a lot higher so 4 fat 12 carb 12 protein and that's fine you know I it makes the milkshake a lot better honestly but I put um, <clears throat> one and a half servings of that milk and two servings of frozen strawberries and two Splenda, stevia packets. So, 
something about sweets always gets the best of me. Uh, I had two rice cakes uh, right after the workout, so I hit chest and I finished, and I actually did 35 minutes of cardio. So I got I got that out of the way. So a second session out of the week, a second session out of three done for the week. So I have one more left, and I already did the hardest one, which is the high intensity. So feeling good right now, guys. Feeling. Still feeling the 700 carbs from this past Saturday. Still feeling pretty full. Um, I do feel like I am starting to get flatter because it's you know it's starting to wear off. But my energy is great, guys. It, it's it hasn't dropped this entire week. I've you know today I hit sets of six with uh, 100 pound dumbbells. So you know my strength is definitely still being maintained a lot. Which is good, guys, because essentially I'm only 148 to 149 pounds right now. So I've never, never, guys, been this strong at such a low body weight. So it's, it's definitely a good feeling. All the, um, all the grinding and everything is paying off. So I know this, this prep has been pretty legit. I've been doing everything right um, thus far. I only have a couple pounds to lose left. So, uh, you know... I think our pace, my coach and I set, is about three quarters to a uh, half to three quarters of a pound to lose per week. You know, we're going to slow down the pace just a tad bit. We might increase calories, but we'll see. So that's the uh, appetizer, and uh, I'll show you all what I have for the entree. All right, guys, so here is my dinner. I have uh, four servings of spinach. Uh, one serving of cherry tomatoes, about six ounces of chicken breast tenderloins that I kind of shredded up a little bit, and four servings of Caesar Parmigiano dressing. So that is the dinner, and I'm going to pair it with, I don't know if you can see that, uh, my diet soda. So I got two cans here, and that's going to conclude my macros. So I ate, uh, earlier you saw, uh, when I was at work, I ate the... Uh, the Mexican food, Lopez, so I actually ate a lot of food. So that kind of took up like half of my macros for the day. Because when you eat out, it's, it's a lot heavier. So I kind of overestimate a little bit, but that's that, guys. Call it a night. Great workout. Awesome day. And I'll see you all tomorrow. All right, guys. So just got to work and got my overnight oats that I made last night. So really excited to eat this right now. So what I did was put um, oatmeal, um, <clears throat> some almond milk, like one whole serving, two servings of strawberries, some uh, cinnamon, PE science, peanut butter uh, protein, and uh, mixed it all up and turned into this. So this looks really good. So I'm gonna eat this right up and start my day. All right, guys, so here is my lunch. I got some leftovers from yesterday, uh, the Mexican food. So just threw all in the veggies, and I got some meat on the bottom. Got some rice also, and I got three flour tortillas with my diet soda and BCA. So I'm going to eat this up for lunch because I'm hungry, and uh, I got a package in the mail. So I'll also show you all what I got. All right, guys. So just got to the gym, and uh, earlier I opened this these headphones that this company sent me. They're called Gripped Fitness Audio, and I'm gonna link their company in the description box below. And um, my honest opinion on these is, uh, I don't know. It's kind of weirdly built. So with Beats, you know, this is. It looks a lot like the Beats, obviously, you can already tell. Uh, but with Beats, it, it comes down and it kind of grips inward, so it doesn't stick out. But with these, you know, the feel, you know, it's not all there, it's not too comfortable. And, uh, you know, it kind of sticks out kind of weirdly, if you can tell. But the sound quality, guys, what matters the most is it's incredible. The sound quality for the price. So the price, I think, is about $70. 
Um, this is called the Equalizer S460, I believe. Um, you know, I, I uh, wear a lot of headphones, like the Apple ones or something like that. Just ear, regular earphones like this. And, um, you know, it's something different, just over the head. Sometimes you wear like a hat and you put it over. But all in all, like, if I were to rate this one to 10, um, on the build quality, one to 10, this is like a six. Sound quality, like an eight and a half. Um, feel of like how, you know, how it fits is like a, like a five and a half. So uh, that's my honest opinion on this. This is the gold. I know they have like nine colors. So like like I said, I'm gonna link their company in the des description box below. Um, so shout out to Grip Fitness Audio. Thank you guys so much for uh, sending me these headphones. All right, so on to this workout. So today we had a pretty, pretty freaking good workout um, considering the amount of people that we had. Uh, we had a squad workout minus Derek and Tim. So Derek and Tim, if you're watching this, we haven't forgot about you. Love you guys. <laughs> but anyways, um, squad workout with the guys today. We hit back, and um, it was a really good session, honestly. And, um, you know, I, I feel like for my body weight, guys, I'm getting so strong. You know, considering the fact that I'm 148 pounds, I've maintained pretty much 80 no, I want to say 90% of my strength, and, and I want to talk to you guys a little about that. Uh, strength is very, very easily lost, guys. It's hard to gain, and it's very easily lost, especially when you're in a huge caloric deficit for an extended period of time. Guys, you need to remember that it takes you so long to build your strength up, and if you, know, if you listen to your body, meaning oh, this is so heavy, this is too heavy, I can't lift this, especially during your contest prep or when you're dieting, guys, you'll lose all your strength. You'll lose all your strength. I've, I've seen it happen. It's happened to me. And, you know, that goes hand in hand with your muscle, guys. You need to give your, your body a reason, give your muscles a reason to stay. And that is specifically to lift heavy, guys. And lifting heavy not only keeps your muscle density, but it it burns more calories than to lift like you know 30, 30 reps of like this certain weight. So um, look at freaking Russell, guys. He's freaking flying on that pull-up bar. But anyways, um, uh, you know I've I've gained or I've maintained so much strength, and I've never done that before, guys. In my past past contest preps, in the beginning, I always say I want to do it. But when it gets hard and I don't have someone to push me, I lose a lot of my strength. And in the past, I've lost a lot of size. Um, I've never been this big in my entire life at 148 pounds. I can guarantee that. Um, 2014, I stepped on stage at 146 pounds. So you can imagine, um, obviously I was smaller, so definitely not as lean um, as I'm going to be this year. So. That's my take on that, guys. You know, it's um, it's all up to you at the end of the day. You have to give your muscles a reason to stay. So um, that's gonna conclude it f for this commentary. That's gonna conclude this commentary for this video. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. Please enjoy the rest of the video. We cook at Danae's house, guys, and there's some bomb ass food. All right, so we just got to Kroger. Gonna buy some groceries, cook it at Danae's place. I love you, Mom. Ah, for Mother's Day. Uh huh. So we're um, last time we cooked at Danae's house, we had like uh, bison, and I've never had bison before. Before that, so every time we go to Danae's house and we cook steak, we're gonna have bison. So right now we are uh, gonna pick up some and. Look at this. This is what happens when you go to the grocery store hungry. Check out. You just look at random shit. Like, like I just want that sushi right now, but I'm not gonna get it because I shouldn't. So, yeah, I gotta make more. Danae, where's the bison? Bison? Ah, well, that makes sense. So, let's see what we got. Look at all these freaking temptations, guys. And I'm freaking super hungry. Cookies, cookies, cake, cake. Yeah, cake. Can't have any of this. But you know what? 
I'm not going to because the shreds are worth it. And I am 11 weeks away from that. So, I'm gonna lean about a day, feeling good. Definitely, definitely uh, a good feeling when you wake up leaner and you see things that you don't uh, normally see, which is cool. It's something that no one really notices, but it's coming, it's coming, guys. If you don't like to drink soda, or you don't like the all the uh, chemicals and stuff like that, like the food coloring and stuff that they put in sodas, this is this is what you do. So these are sparkling beverages. That's like uh, the store brand Kroger. Um, every store has its own, but here it's two for a dollar. So I'm gonna grab six, three for Shali and three for me. So get some strawberry. I already got like four in the cart right there. So right there. Alright guys, so one of these little things here is $10, but guys, look at the macro. So, uh, each container is 8 ounces, and they have 5 fat total and 50 protein. Guys, this is the truth right here. So, bison ribeye steak. This is what I'm going to get. Yeah, I brought my scale too. Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, so right now we are actually seasoning the veal and the bison. Uh, we bought some veal actually, so it's like four ounces guys for two fat. Two fat for four ounces of this. It seems really thin, but veal's like essentially deer. So super lean also. Thanks. Shala's gonna make us pizuki. I bought more uh Yeah. Alright guys, so here is my steak cooking up right now so what I'm gonna do is cook that up and I'm gonna cut it into little pieces and put it in my steak salad that I have already made. Here are the two dressings I've used. So I used half uh, or one serving of this classic balsamic which is zero fat and six carb and some cilantro avocado so I kind of mixed the two and this one is 3.5 fat and one carb. All right, since I don't have enough room, what I'm gonna do is just eat my salad and my steak, so. Time for dinner. No meal would be complete, complete without dessert. So Shali right now is making his pizuki that everyone's been asking, but I already put his channel in the video. So, making two, two servings right now, so super excited right now, and I'll show you all Final product. Alright guys, so here is the finished product prepared by Chef Coca. Yeah, so Coca. 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 So we have uh, half the pan, so Shali took the other half, and uh, this is all my macros would allow. So I have some Walden Farms caramel chocolate syrup that I'm gonna throw on top. And uh so excited to do this. <laughs> uh.